Leo, we are here for your relationship reading. So let's take a look and see what the energies are for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love. Leo in love. What is the overall energy for Leo in love? Let's see what we have here. Look at this. Messenger of fire. You've been communicating with someone and maybe it's a water sign. Okay, let's see. Messengers, messengers. Your person is maybe more sentimental than you, but here you are in your reading. Okay, so let's see. Transformation. You really want to overhaul your love life. Out with the old, in with the new. King of air energy, Aquarius energy. You're going to be very detached. You're very detached at this time as you look forward to rebuilding a love life that has left you not feeling so happy in the recent past. So, but you're open, you're happy, you're moving forward. The nine of fire, you're willing to do the work. You want someone else who's willing to do the work. I'm getting ten of cups here. Look at that. That is how you're going to feel very shortly. Leo, ten of water, that's Neptunian energy, Pisces energy. It's happily ever after. So for many of you, you're really looking for the relationship. You're looking for the person. Some of you may be in contact with them now, and that's what I think is forming here. The Four of Swords says that most of you, as well as your love interest, have uh, you're recovering from some sort of wound or battle. Old relationships need to be cleared away. Transformation energy is there. It might be something that overshadows your relationship or that you might discuss or talk about. Um, it also shows, though, that both of you are able to make the transformation for something new. But there is healing going on. Hierophant, both of you appear to be people who have left a very long-term relationship. It looks as though it could be a marriage for some. It could be a live-in arrangement with others. But both of you also really want a traditional relationship. The Eight of Fire, both of you are feeling fired up and passionate. So you you do have this new energy coming in. I don't believe necessarily that you've met them yet, or if you have, it looks like it's still somewhat early stage in the relationship. So let's see what your energy is here. Leo, Leo in love. What do we have for Leo in love? What is the energy for Leo in love. You feel a little stuck here. Even the cards are a little bit stuck as I try to shuffle them. So let's see. Leo in love. How are you feeling? Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You know, you're not ready to settle down. Leo in love says that, you know, that's Sagittarius, a little player energy. You're flirty. You're getting a lot of attention. You like the attention. You know, you're really willing to take a chance, but you know, you're kind of on a mission. You're on a mission to have fun. I'm also getting this card, oh, the beautiful star card, Aquarius energy. Now your person is coming in in a very different mood than you, Leo. Your person is coming in as being very emotional. There, there may be an age difference between the two of you. You're coming into an energy with someone that is very, very much idealistic, but you are too, because this, this is shared energy. In the transformation process, you're not really sure what choice you will make. You're not ready to take the leap of faith yet, but you will for the right person. The nine of fire, how you're feeling about this person. Well, you feel as though they could be the one. Here you are, Leo. Look at that. You feel as though you may have met your person. You're not sure yet, but you feel very happy when you're with them. You're trying to keep it kind of light, but you have to be a little bit careful because your person is very innocent. They're very sweet. They're very idealistic. They're very emotional. There's some water here. The Nine of Cups, you like the pet fact that this person is playful. They're fun. It makes you happy. It makes you feel youthful. These are two of the happiest cards in the deck. So you really feel as though... <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, now I'm laughing because now the fact that this person is so sweet, they're magnificent, they're lovely, they're a rock star, they're not the type of person you can have in and out energy with. So you're entering into this sort of new phase of your, your independence and right away <laughs> you have to give up the player energy because the person you're with is so fantastic you know it's like when you start dating you don't plan on meeting somebody right away but it looks like you do and the energy is that here you are it's the leo king so now realistically you're giving up the player energy to be stable because you have a lot of pride because this person makes you very happy and the fact that they make you so happy makes you want to jump for joy it's eat drink and be merry you didn't expect it and now it puts you it makes you feel vulnerable <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. I love it, though, because you really are. You're living in your heart chakra. You're being true to your heart chakra. This idea that you are just going to go out and be wild and, you know, transform yourself into this, like, love it and leave it bachelor type is not really going to work for you. Already, you've kind of hit a speed bump that's way too big uh, for you to ignore, because if you do, you wouldn't be able to keep this lovely person in your life <clears throat> okay so let's that was a real turn of events like stage right here we go look at this the full card says that you're not really ready for a new beginning but when you go for the from the nine of cups to the ten of cups my friend that's a new beginning ready or not here it comes a new beginning is on the horizon you weren't ready, but you know, sometimes when we're not ready, the most wonderful things can happen to us. So the Four of Air, what is it about your life right now and your love life? You are healing from somebody who really hurt you. You're healing from somebody, probably a marriage, in which there was a lot of very, very almost vicious fighting. Some of you actually could be going through a long divorce that's been drawn out. You know, you might have been alone for a while, but it looks as though you're trying to heal from a very, very damaging marriage for most of you, a long-term commitment. Yep, you don't even want to talk to the person you were married to or that you were in this relationship with. The Two of Swords is sort of like, this reminds me of the Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds, where, you know, it's like this person just constantly is after you. They're always after you, even when you try to ignore them. So we're really seeing energy here that says that you have not healed. You need to heal. You need to go through the transformation. <clears throat> so let's see. The Eight of Fire is that all that passion, making love all night long. You know, do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight, or make a lot of love, get down tonight. It's a card of deep passion and happiness. Look at this. Oh boy, you feel really like the most magnificent lover in the world. This is Leo energy. There you are, Leo. There you are. Leo, you're so strongly in your own reading. This is your card. That's Leo. The sun card is Leo. You have this magnificent energy. You really feel as though you may have found a person with whom you can feel happy, joyful, vibrant, victorious. You feel as though this person, you know, that you're you're kind of afraid, though, because it's like, I never thought I could be this happy. How could this happen now when I had become so jaded? <laughs> Well, spirit is just intervening with you. I like that energy. So now, Leo, we're going to clarify with your person. We're going to look at their energy. We're going to go to the extended. We're going to look at their energy and say, see how they feel that this will unfold. Then we're going to get your reaction and see how this relationship moves forward. Because very clearly, it does move forward. There's so much happiness here, but we're going to see how this is going to unfold. And so if you would like to join me for the extended, I'm going to go ahead and just put out the cards that are going to be the clarification and we'll see what the bridging energy is here 
So let's see where your person was in the recent past. <clears throat> Ace of Wands. Well, they wanted a new passionate beginning. Let's see why this beautiful energy is that they're innocent and they are really spiritual. Why could this person be your person? They know how to collaborate. This is a person who understands the regular the regular needs of a relationship. They're really there. They're in it to win it. And they're not overreactive. This person's very, very patient. This transformation for you, Leo, this person also feels like you do. They're not really quite sure what the future brings, but they're willing to do the work. So that is the energy going into the extended. So if this resonates and you'd like to follow me there, I'll see you over at the extended. Sending you love from Chicago. Thank you so much.